Eddie Johnson has a message for the city of Chicago. He admits making a poor decision, but the fired police superintendent says his integrity is still intact. CBS2 political investigator Dana Kosloff is in the newsroom. Dana Johnson's replacement is also talking. Yeah, Erica and Brad, Charlie Beck and Eddie Johnson have been friends for years. Today, Beck said people make mistakes. Johnson stated the same, not in person, but through his attorney. This is ousted police superintendent Eddie Johnson's message to the public, released through his attorney Thomas Needham this afternoon. In it, Johnson says he's disappointed he couldn't retire on January 1st as planned, adding, however, I respect yesterday's decision of Mayor Lori Lightfoot. The, the, this is not at all how I envisioned the transition. But said interim police superintendent Charlie important. Beck this morning. Beck says he's still expecting a smooth transition. Uh, superintendent Johnson and I will still talk. You know, uh, we have talked. Johnson was fired by Mayor Lori Lightfoot for lying to her about an October incident where he was found slumped over or sleeping in his police vehicle near a Bridgeport intersection. Johnson says, I did not intentionally mislead or deceive the mayor or the people of Chicago. I acknowledge that I made a poor decision and had a lapse of judgment on the night of October 16th. That was a mistake, and I know that. Johnson initially said he'd fallen asleep due to a medication issue. He told the mayor he'd also been drinking. The inspector general's report told her otherwise. And the choice he made was to communicate a narrative replete with false statements, all seemingly intended to hide the true nature of his conduct from the evening before. Sources tell us Johnson had been with a woman, not his wife, at Sari's Cafe in the Loop beforehand. Ninth District officers responded to the 911 call. Johnson's wife is a lieutenant there. The matter is still under investigation with the mayor acknowledging other officers' conduct that night is part of it. Sources have just confirmed that the woman Johnson was with the night of October 16th is also a Chicago police officer. A spokesperson for the inspector general's office says they can't comment on the ongoing investigation because it's confidential, but it has been investigated expeditiously. In the newsroom, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Eddie Johnson isn't the only one out at the department. CBS2 has learned four high-ranking officers have put in for retirement, and 16 others are expected to retire soon. Sources tell us they include captains, commanders, lieutenants, and deputy chiefs. You can read Johnson's entire statement on our website, cbschicago.com slash Eddie Johnson.